Hi there everyone, welcome back to this channel where I dive into the world of trading strategies and their performances on my backtests. This time I want to discuss a trio of strategies that have been showing very good backtest results and all end up very high on the strategy league. They are known as the SMA offset strategies and all have their own risk profile and great theoretical results that might give you an edge in the market. So let's proceed quickly after the intro. So in this video I'm not exploring one, not two, but three variations of the SMA offset strategy. Each one tweaks the SMA offset concept differently to optimize trading results. So whether you are a seasoned trader or just starting out with a trading bot, understanding these subtleties could be crucial for your trading arsenal. I will discuss each strategy on a high level, delve into some specific parameters, and then I will discuss how these small changes can impact overall trading performances by showing you the different end results after backtesting. My goal here is to understand which SMA offset strategy stands out in terms of ease of use, potential profitability and risk management for trading with a trading bot, since manually trading these algorithms is a little bit too complex. If you want to use these files for your own setup, then you can easily find them on GitHub by searching for the name SMA Offset. This will present you with a large list of repositories of people that have downloaded these files and added them to their own personal repos. In this video I will show you the test results of the following versions. The default SMA Offset, the hypocritical DCA version and the SMA Offset Protect Opt version 1. And as you can see, I'm not the author of all these strategies, so all the actual credits and support go to the original authors. I'm just the guy that tests these algorithms on their own merits and presents you the results I've got on my specific setup, informing you about the possibilities of these algorithms and taking this initial data grinding work out of your hands. Now, what about the similarities and differences between these different code files? The main commonality in the first instance is their name of course. And on first sight they all are evolutions of each other. Where the SMA offset looks to be the initial version, the SMA offset protect opt version builds on that, and the DCA version is again an evolution of the protect opt code. And what about other similarities? These three SMA offset strategies all share several core functionalities that define their trading mechanisms and each strategy employs a simple moving average to determine buy and sell signals based on price movements relative to the SMA with an offset. They all uh, use the 5 minute time frame for operational decisions, indicating the preference for short term trading. And the use of parameters like the low offset and high offset to configure the buy and sell conditions is also common across all versions, allowing for dynamic adjustments based on market conditions although their exact values differ. And also the trading stop loss has not been set for all these three strategies, which makes their backtest results seem to be more reliable to me. I also tested all three versions on the possibility of look ahead bias. But none of these versions seem to have a look ahead bias according to the test, so that's another commonality. Now, while these strategies have a common foundation, each one also introduces unique elements that set them apart. The first strategy, the SMA offset, sticks to a more traditional approach with a simple stop loss and no trading stop, focusing on the standard SMA calculations. The second strategy, the SMA offset DCA version, introduces complexity with dollar cost averaging tactics, of which I am not going into detail here, but the general idea here is that it adjusts position sizes based on the previous price movements and a dynamic calculation of safety order multipliers. This strategy aims to manage risks through a series of calculated incremental investments as prices fall. And in contrast, the third version, the SMA offset protect of the V1, incorporates protective measures like low profit pairs and the cooldown period to mitigate risks from low profit trades and uh, market cooldown periods, showing a sophisticated approach to managing unfavorable market conditions. And moreover, 
It leverages an informative time frame to gather additional market insights, providing a broader perspective on potential trades. Now, this strategy seems to be the most defensively oriented, aiming to protect the investment by preventing trades during uh, identified risky periods. Now, the EWO or the Elliott Wave Oscillator is also utilized in the second and third strategy to provide additional market context. And this oscillator helps in identifying the strength of the market trends and potential reversals, which can be particularly useful in strategies that rely on moving averages by providing a secondary confirmation signal. Now, in essence, the progression from the first to the third strategy shows a clear evolution from a straightforward SMA-based approach to a more complex and nuanced strategy incorporating additional risk management features and market analysis tools. But does this increased complexity also increase the profitability and risk management of these algorithms or not? Let's find out in the backtest results section. Now let's start with the most interesting trading strategy there is, the dollar cost averaging trading strategy. Just like every other backtest, I always test on multiple timeframes to see if a trading algorithm might perform better on another timeframe instead of the one that is configured in the code. In this case, this algo actually performs better on the 15 minute time frame than on the 5 minute one. Using this algo on my backtest data and time range provided a theoretical 150% gain. And it has a spectacular 97% win rate with a win streak of 301 wins over a maximum losing streak of 5. All other numbers on this time frame also show that this algorithm seems to have high potential to make you money in the markets. It also has a very good looking equity curve, with a minimal drawdown so it seems. And you can see here on the win-loss ratio plot that the amount of weeks with a loss is almost minimal. The strategy shows a high win rate uh, with most values tightly clustered between 70 and 100%, indicating that the strategy is consistently successful in making profitable trades most of the time. The profit distribution indicates variability in the actual profit outcomes per week. While there are a few outliers with high profits, the bulk of the results lie close to zero, and some results are significantly negative, highlighting some weeks with losses. Now, the presence of outliers on both ends of the profit distribution suggests a degree of risk. The strategy can yield high returns but also bear risk of losses, which could be a point of concern for risk averse traders. So overall, this trading algorithm has a good potential that should be tested out first in forward testing and possible further analysis of the advanced DCA methods and exactly the way it works. Now everything that ends up in the upper 25% of this rather large growing list is uh, getting an A in my book. And this algo certainly earns this position. However, the SMA offset protection opt uh, sheds a whole different view on the performance of the DCA offset strategy. The win rate of the best performing 30 minute time frame may not be 97%, but the overall way to capitalize on the market is clearly better. This is also visible in the performance ratios like Sharp, Sortino and Kalmar. Although the equity curve is more jagged here, the curve line shows an over 45 degrees angle which ends up over 50,000 hypothetical backtesting dollars. So overall there might be possible downside risk and the performance of the strategy might be possibly more prone to rapid changing market circumstances. And you can see here that these drawdown spikes are probably caused by the stop loss setting that might be too tight to let the open trades breathe, since this is the main cause of losses when backtesting this algo. Eventually, this results in the box plots shown here. These plots show us that this strategy has a relative consistent win rate, with a majority of results clustered between the 0.5 and 0.8, which indicates between 50 and 80%. The complete range indicates a generally successful strategy, but with a wider variability in performances compared to the previous strategy we analyzed. And the profit distribution reveals a significant range of outcomes, with a median close to zero, but extending from very high gains to substantial losses. The presence of many outliers, especially on the positive side, suggests that while the strategy can generate considerable profits, 
it also has uh, significant losses here. Overall, this broad spread in the profit distribution underscores a high risk, high reward nature for the strategy. And such a profile may appeal to traders who are willing to accept potential downsides for the chances of uh, substantial gains. But given the extreme values in both profit and loss, this strategy would require careful risk management strategies to mitigate potential losses, particularly if used in a volatile market environment. Before using this strategy, its risk profile should be thoroughly understood and monitored. Nevertheless, its overall performance scores higher than that of the DCA offset strategy, and with the current spot on the overall strategy leak, I would give this version certainly a try on one of my forward testing bots someday. Now before I continue, first another message. If you like the thing that I do here, then please click on the like button, and click subscribe for more content, and also click the bell icon for not missing any future videos of me. All these backtest outputs, plots, files, the setup for creating similar tests yourself, and all our stuff is all available on my Patreon page. And if you want to just support me, you can be a patron too. Many thanks for your support. Now, there is a reason I wanted to show the results of the most simple SMA offset strategy last. Clearly it's proven again that simplicity seems to perform way better than more complex algorithms. Now, unfortunately I do not have a very clear explanation why this is the case here, and I will certainly do more research on why this version scores so much better than uh, its other more advanced versions. On some points its performances are worse than the other versions, like the win rate, win streak, pass ratio and profit factor, but the actual scores on the profit percentage and Sortino, Kalmar, Sharp and CHGR are so much better. It's also the only version that scores actually the best on its intended 5 minute time frame. And the 6700 trades it made shows me this is also a quite active strategy too. So at first sight there are no signals that this version has some weird quirks here. Now I have also compared this performance on a slightly different dataset and time range with the other two versions on their best performing time frames. Because I wanted to see if there was a fluke here. But it showed again that the performance of this trading algorithm outperformed the other two versions. So how does the equity curve look on the SMA offset trading algo? Again it shows here that with great risk comes great responsibility since the curve here is the most jagged of all three. By looking at the last part of the curve, it also shows that market sentiment might have the most influence on this algo's performance too. And this is also clearly visible in the sawtooth like drawdown plot. And the weekly profit and loss chart also shows that this algo version can be subject to some dramatic weeks if market circumstances are against you. The strategy exhibits a win rate distribution uh, between 60 and 80%, with a few instances going as low as 30%, and some outliers that are even lower than that. This indicates a generally successful strategy, but with some inconsistencies that could result in periods of less favorable outcomes. The profit distribution reveals a wide range with a medium profit slightly above zero. The distribution features outliers showing significant profits, but it also includes substantial potential losses, with outliers extending down to over minus 20,000. This indicates a very high variability in weekly profits, suggesting the strategy can be very profitable, but also bears significant risk, which you already saw in the previous plot. This broad range of results suggests a high volatility strategy where careful risk management would be essential to mitigate potential large losses. And that's where the major improvements of this algorithm lie, I think. Also, given the high variability in distribution of both win rate and profits, this strategy might be suitable for traders who can tolerate higher risk for potential higher rewards. The end balance of this SMA offset strategy can be compared with the other top 10 algorithms uh, and their potential gains. If I add up all the individual scores of this strategy to a total score, then it enters my current strategy league on the third spot, which I think is a great achievement. On some performance indicators it might not be the ideal strategy to use, 
and that is with great emphasis that you should only use this trading algorithm after careful investigation and testing, taking into consideration your own risk appetite for trading of course. And as for these three specific trading algorithms, comparatively the SMA offset uh, with DCA version offers the best balance between risk and reward, maintaining a high win rate while controlling profit variability. The SMA offset protect OPT-V1 and the normal SMA offset introduces higher risk levels but also the potential for higher rewards. Now choosing among these depends on a trader's risk tolerance, capital management strategies and trading goals. And the persons that want to use these algorithms must also carefully consider how the volatility in win rate and profit distributions align with their investment criteria and risk appetite. And thus with this conclusion I am also at the end of this video. I have another 3 great algorithm trading strategies added to my total strategy leak. And I am currently forward testing 5 of the current best trading algorithms and you can see these on my live feed how they currently perform. And it might be so that in the near future I will add one of these trading strategies as well. But for now many thanks for watching this video until the end and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.